as of now, we have discussed about what are the counters and how the counter works. And uh, uh, basically, uh, the sequence or the, the modulus of the counter that depends on how many flip flops are there. Okay. So the M is uh, the maximum limit is nothing but this is 2 to the power N, where if the N, N is the number of flip flops, and, and with the help of that flip flop, we can design. Uh, mode f co m counter okay but it is also possible like the mode of the counter that whatever we are designing uh, with the help of the flip flop that could be even less than the 2 to the power n so this is also possible we can design it okay so let us try to see what kind of counters we have seen as of now the first counter like if you can see this one this counter that starts from zero, zero. Yeah, let us uh, initially, I'm assuming that it is initiated from zero. So initially it was started from zero, zero, zero. Then it is moving to the zero, zero, one, then zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, and one, one, one. And then it is coming to the zero, zero, zero again. So the total number of uh, sequence that it is following is eight. So we can call it the mod eight counter. Okay, mod eight counter. And uh, to design this mod 8 counter, we need three number of flip-flops. Three flip-flop is needed. Okay. But one more thing that is really very important. Suppose I have a mod 16 counter. Okay. Mod 16 counter I have. And I have to make mod 8 counter. So I need to use the control signal or, or the clear pulse that can clear after some of the stages okay so the with the help of mod 16 i can design mod 8 counter uh, one very important thing that uh, we have to understand mod 8 counter it indicates that the total number of stages that we are going to follow or that we are going to count is the eight okay so this eight indicates the number of uh, the sequences or the the sequences that it is going to follow or it is going to count but might be there could be something like let us assume uh, i have a counter something that starts from 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and if it is a sequence something like this so i can call this counter as a mod 4 counter okay so there is no doubt i can call this counter as a mod 4 counter because the total number of sequences that it, this counter is following is the mod 4 counter. Now, one very important thing is, if I have to design this counter, whatever I have drawn here, I need two number of flip-flops. Okay, so two flip-flops will be sufficient to design this mod 4 counter. But there may be something different. Okay, so I am claiming it, this is a mod 4 counter. But what happens, suppose I have a sequence which is something like this 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 and these are the sequences of a counter something like this like it starts from 0 0 0 then it is come it is it, the next state is 0 0 1 next state is 1 0 1 and the next state is 1 1 0 Okay, and again it is coming to zero. So if we try to see the total sequences uh, in the, this particular figure, in this figure the total sequences are like zero, then it is moving to one, then it is moving to two, then it is moving to three, then from three it is moving to one. So this is the sequence that counter is following. So in this counter I am getting these kind of sequences. Okay, now if it, if we try to see this one. The, the second figure which I have drawn. Uh, here the sequence is like it is start from zero. The next sequence is zero zero one which indicates one. Okay. Then the next sequence is one zero one and one zero one is nothing but this is equivalent to five. Okay. So the next sequence is five and there is the next sequence is one one one. So after five the sequence is seven and then after seven the sequence is going to be zero. Okay. So if we try to see here, the total number of sequences that this counter is counting is like four. So we can also call it the mode four counter. 
Okay, so because the total number of stages, total number of sequences that the second counter is following, like uh, uh, the four, and we can also call it the mode four counter. Okay, so both are the mode four counter, but to design this first mode four counter, I I need two number of flip flops. But to design the second number of a uh, second kind of uh, the sequence which I have here, that we need at least three number of flip flops. Okay, so the three flip flops are needed to uh, design the second kind of sequences. So the only difference, like it is not necessary that the uh, if I have a mode four counter, so for, uh, for to design that mode four counter, I need only two flip flops. No, this is not true. Yeah, this may be one of the necessary condition, like minimum two flip flop is required. But uh, what is the maximum flip flop that is needed to design this one? We cannot claim. You know, we cannot say that depends on what is the number of bits that we want to calculate. Suppose if I want to make a mode four counter with the help of three bits, in that case, three flip flop is needed. If I have to make mode four counter with the help of four bits, in that case, I can make uh, I I I need to use four number of flip flop. So mode does not it does not decide how many flip flop is needed. The number of bits that decides how many flip flops are required. Okay, so if the number of bits are two, in that case two flip flops are needed. If number of uh, bits are three, in that case three number of uh, uh, flip flops are required. Okay, so uh, this is the important thing that we have to understand. Okay, so if you have any doubt at this point, you can ask the questions like how we decide mode and how we decide the number of flip flop that is needed. Let us take one more example. Suppose I have a, a four bit sequence that starts from 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 0, 001. Next step, let us assume it is like 0101. 0, 1. Next step, let us assume it is like 1000. 0, 0, 0. And the next, another one is like 1010. 0, 1, 0. And suppose I had these kind of sequences. Okay. Again, if I try to see the total number of sequence that I have to count here is the four. Okay, that is start from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then it is moving to 0, 1, 0, 1, and then 1, double, uh, triple 0, then 1, 0, 1, 0. So the total sequence, like again, we can also claim that this is nothing but this is the mode 4 counter. Okay, but because the total number of bits here are 4, so the total number of flip flop required will be 4 flip flops. Okay, so this is how we decide how many flip flops are required based on the number of bits okay so if anyone has any doubt at this point you can ask the questions otherwise we can move ahead okay so this is all about uh, which we have already discussed uh, about the mode of the counter okay so once we are ready with this mode of the counter uh, we need to understand like uh, see here we are calling it the mode eight counter. We can also call it the mode four, like the, the second sequence is mode four counter. This sequence is also the mode four counter and this one is also mode four counter. But there is a huge difference between, let me change the color. Here I have one counter, here I have one counter and here I have one counter. All these three counters are of mode four counter. Okay, but there are slight difference uh, among all these three okay in the first case it is following all the sequences that we can make with the help of two digit okay with the help of two digit i can have four possibilities and all four possibilities are here in the sequences okay if you can come to the second one in this one because i am considering three bit sequence so in three bit sequence total number of possible sequences will be eight and out of these eight, I am considering only four. Okay, so so even though I can claim it the mode eight counter, but some of the sequences are auto corrected, which are not needed. I am correcting those sequences. So these kind of counter we can call them the self correcting counter. Okay, so let us take the example, and I will tell you. Okay, so. Uh, Here, let us assume I have a counter having the sequence something like this, okay? That starts from zero. So zero, zero, zero is the initial state. 
then i am moving to the 001 then 010 011 100 101 okay so the and then 1012 the next stage should be like if i am considering the modulus 8 counter after 101 there should be 110 and then after 110 it should be 111 but i want to make a counter something like uh, after 101 it should move to 000 it should not count these two sequences and which are the invalid count which is 6 and 7 so these kind of counters if some of the sequences some of the counts are missing then these kind of counters are known as self correcting counters okay so the self correcting counter means if all the sequences are not present and if there are some other sequences which can come into the sequence and uh, those are invalid and that are moving to the 000 sequence then we can call them the self correcting counters okay so these all are the self correcting counter and now because the total number of sequences that are valid here are 6 so we can call them mode 6 counter so in 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 summary the counter which we can see here this particular counter we can call them the self correcting mode 6 counter okay mod 6 is simply how many sequence we have okay and self correcting means some of the some of the sequences are invalid and we are uh, coming to the original state if these kind of sequences are coming so we are self correcting all those things so this is how we can make it like this okay so but one very important thing that we have to understand from this particular figure is like initially the counter was started from 000 okay and then it it started moving ahead and it reach up to 100 and then uh, the rest to uh, stages are missed okay so here i have 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are the valid 6 and 7 are invalid and then again it is uh, from here it is moving to 0 so in between 0 to 5 they are in sequence they are following all the sequences like 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay and whatever the invalid sequences are uh, after these invalid sequences they are moving to the zero but in between all the sequences uh, are are uh, in the all the numbers are in sequence all the counts are in sequence here but there could be possibilities like it is not necessary that always the sequence will be uh, like the count will always be in the sequence there may be some possibility like it is start from 0 then it is moving to 1 then it can miss 2 and then it can move to 3 then it can move to 5 and then 7 and then from 7 to 0 so here if we see in in this particular sequence here 2 is missing 4 is missing 6 is missing which are in between okay so which are in between the sequence in between the count so there are there, there may be one possibility then the counter can also be like this okay it is not necessary that if it is it started from zero so it it should finish up to certain level and then uh, there may be some invalid count no it's not like that okay so uh, let us try to see what those counters could be so yeah here it here is the example let us assume the counter starts from 000 it is moving to 001 yeah so the initially it was started from 0 then 1 then it is 2 then the third is missing 011 is missing which is not required the next stage is 4 okay and third is the the is not required here if third is coming then it should move to the 100 1000 if two is coming then it should move to the 1000 so either 2 or 3 is the present state next state should always be 100 okay so here 3 is missing now after 3 i am moving to 0 okay so in between <coughs> this 5 6 and 7 these three are missing okay so this is also one of the possibilities okay so the random sequence counter we can call them the random sequence counter okay where the the sequence is not the in the sequence they are in random like any of the sequence that we can consider okay so these are some of the counter that we should know the fundamental of all these three so let us try to design few things
Okay, based on this fundamental, whatever we have understood here, let us try to uh, design some of the counters. Okay, so here I have an example. Okay, what this example says, uh, design a synchronous counter that goes through 0, 1, 2, 4, and then 0. Here, 3 is missing. Okay, then 5, 6, and 7 is missing. Okay, so these four of the count, these four counts are missing. Okay, and then so this 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 is the important thing. The next part of this question, what this question said, unused state must go to the zero or to the next state. Okay, so to, what what does it mean? It means that let us see here. The sequence is like zero, one, two. 4 and 0. If we try to see here, 0, 1 and 2 is fine. After 2, 3 is missing. Okay. And then this after 2, we have the next state which is which is 4 and this is non-zero. So if 3 is coming, which is unused one, then it should go to the stage 4 or it should go to the uh, count 4. The fourth, like uh, after two, four should come. And if three is there, then four should come. But if the next, after this one, there is no in-between sequence, like directly we are getting zero value. Okay. So what it means, it means that whatever the values are in between, like five, six, and seven, if uh, these sequences are coming, these sequences must go to the zero okay so this is what this problem says so let us try to define uh, or try to make the state diagram based on this understanding oh what is happening there is some problem here i think i need to correct it Okay, so uh, I think you are able to see the screen, right? Can anyone acknowledge? There was a problem in between. You are getting uh, the yes, screen and voice? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So based on the understanding what we just uh, uh, understand, let us try to make the sequence, okay? So the initial sequence was 0, 0, 0, okay? So this was the initial sequence, which is 0, 0, 0. Then the next sequence is 0, 0, 1. Okay. So from 0, 0, 0, it is going to 0, 0, 1. The next sequence is uh, 0, 1, 0, which is like 2. Okay. And the next sequence is the 0, uh, 1, double 0, which is equivalent to 4. And then I'm assuming after that uh, it should go to the 0, 0, 0. So this is the sequence which is the desirable one. The counter should count. But there are some sequences which are undesirable one. What are those sequences? The first sequence is 0, 1, 1. Okay. If 0, 1, 1 is there, what does it mean? The unused state must go to 0 or to the next state. So I just told you, if there are next sequence which is non-zero, then that sequence should come to that point. So if 0, 1, 1 is there, then it should come to the 1, 0, 0, which is the 4. And, and after 4, there is no non-zero value. So whatever the values are unused, like after 4, that will that, that should reach to the 0 only. Okay. So let us try to see what those sequences are. This sequence like 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. These are the unused sequence. And this should return its value to 0, 0, 0 because the next sequence which i can see here is the zero okay so this is how the state diagram of this problem will look like if you have any doubt on this state diagram you can ask the question otherwise if you are unable to understand what i just drawn here uh, might be you will not be able to design the counters okay so uh, take one minute time to understand what i have done here and then uh, if you are able to understand then it's fine Okay. So this is the state diagram that we can make based on this problem.
Okay. Okay. So if there is no doubt, let us try to make uh, the table on that. Okay. That let us try to have a truth table on that. The present state is like there, there could be the present state like uh, uh, the, the three bit uh, present sequence could be there 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So we have to write all the sequences like if it is three bit, so uh, we can write all the sequences in the present state 0, 1, 1, then 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1 1 1 so this is the present sequence now let us try to see this state diagram and based on that let us try to make the next stage okay so the what next stage is let us try to see the present state is 0 0 0 and the next state is 0 0 1 okay so the next state will be 0 0 1 if the present state is 0 0 1 the next state is 0 1 0 okay so 0 1 0 if present state is 0, 1, 0, the next stage should be G 1, 0, 0. So the next stage should be 1, 0, 0. Okay. So this is the important thing. Now, one more important thing that we have to consider. If the present state is 0, 1, 1, present state is 0, 1, 1. So I just told you the next state will be 1, 0, 0 again. So 1, 0, 0 will be the next state okay now if the present state is one double zero okay one double zero is this one is the valid state so next state should be zero 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 next state should be zero 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 and for all others like one zero one 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 zero the next state should be zero 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 so let us try to fill with the zero okay so for all the next state should be zero 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 so based on this uh, state diagram, we just got to know what should be the present state and what should be the next state based on this one. Okay. Once we are ready with the present state in the, uh, the next state, we need to uh, come up with the uh, excitation of this one. Okay. Excitation of the flip-flops because yeah, I just, I just wanted to make the uh, this counter with the help of three flip-flops. So uh, I can use three flip-flops and three inputs will be needed, okay? What this excitation table says, uh, we know that the excitation table of the T flip-flop is like, let us assume the present state QT and the QT plus one. So the T is given by like zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So the excitation table of the T flip-flop says, it should be 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the excitation table of T flip flop. Okay. So let us try to uh, fill this T2, T1, and T0 based on this present and the past value. If I have to make the excitation table for this uh, excitation uh, column for T2, so in that case, I have to consider A2 from the present state and A2 from the next state. This A2 will be treated as QT and this A2 will be treated as QT plus one, okay? So I, I need to find the T2. So here it is zero and zero, zero and zero, T means T, T will be zero. So let, let me use the different color, okay? So if it is like that, uh, zero and zero, that will give you the zero, okay? Zero and zero, again, it will give you the zero, okay? 0 and 1, that is giving 1. 0 and 1, it is giving 1. 1, 0, uh, it is giving 1. 1, 0, 1, 0 everywhere. So it will be 1, 1, 1, 1. So this, will be, uh, this is how the T2 will look like. Similarly, we can design the, uh, we can have this table. We can complete this table for T1 and T0 as well. Uh, if I'm considering for T1, so A1, A1 will be considered and based on that I can make. So I'm not, uh, uh, I'm just directly writing it because uh, you will be able to understand how it could be done. Okay. Because you know the excitation table based on that, you can design it. Suppose I want to make for A1, so 0 and 0, that will give you the 0. 0 and 1, that will give you the 1. 1 and 0, 
that will be uh, one and so on so just i have to uh, check it out and then i can complete this table so this will be one uh, next one will be zero next one will be zero then one and one similarly for a zero it will be like uh, zero and one that will give you the one one zero one zero one zero and one okay so this is how the tables i can make based on this one okay now once we are ready with this table then what i have to do i have to write the function for t2 t1 and t0 okay so let us try to write the function for t2 t1 and t0 the function for t2 t1 and t0 will look like this one t2 will be uh, see here summation of uh, 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 uh, t1 will be the 1 2 3 and 6 7 and similarly t0 will be uh, 0 1 3 5 and 7 okay so this is what uh, the functions are now once we are ready with this function i have to solve the kmf for these three functions okay so let us try to solve it okay here uh, the t2 is here t2 is given like uh, 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 T1 is given like uh, 1, 2, 3, 6, and 7. And T0 is given like 0, 1, 3, 5, and 7. So let us try to solve the KMF for T2. KMF for T2 will look like this one. Let us try to see. Uh, it is 2, 3. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Similarly, the KMF for T1, uh, T1 will be like 1, 2, 3, 6, and 7. Similarly, KMF for T0, this will be like 0, 1, 3, 5, and 7. Now, let us try to make the pairing of all those things. Okay. So, how we can make the pair? The first pair which is possible in the T2 is like quad. We can make the quad with the help of this one. This is one of the possibility. Okay. Second possibility that we can have here is like one more quad can be made something like this. So this is also one of the possibility. So there are two quads that we can make here. Okay. So this is the quad. Now let us try to make what is the pairing for this one. The first thing that we can make here is the one quad that I can make here. This is one of the possibility. And the second thing is like I can make one pair with the help of this one. Similarly, if you try to see the third one, in the third one, like for T0, I can make one quad with the help of this one, and then I can make one pair with the help of this one. Okay, so these all are the uh, pairing that are possible out of it. Let us try to simplify it or try to write the simplified function okay what the simplified functions are if we try to write the function for t2 okay so t2 is nothing but like from here uh, here i will get a2 okay and uh, plus from here a2 will be cancelled out and a0 will be cancelled out a1 will be there okay the a2 plus a1 will be the t2 okay next if i want to simplify the function for t1 then t1 will be like from this one uh, the a1 will come out a1 plus uh, from here a2 bar bar a0 okay this will be the function Similarly, T0 can be, T0 is equal to, uh, here I am just getting A0 plus A2 bar A1 bar. Okay. So, if we try to see here, how many gates are needed, let us try to see. We need three number of flip-flop. Okay. So, three flip-flop is needed. Okay. 
if you see here i need one a2 bar a2 bar is also here okay uh, a2 bar is here a2 bar is also needed in the t0 and a1 bar is needed okay so if the things are like this means like a2 bar here a2 bar here and a1 bar so i need two inverters okay so two inverter one inverter for a2 complement and the second inverter for a1 complement now if you see here after inverting i need one end gate over here okay and another end gate i need here okay so i need two end gates okay then after i need one or gate here one or gate here and one or gate here so three or gate is required so this much of hardware is needed to design this particular counter three flip flop uh, two inverters two end gate and two or gates okay so this is what the requirements are okay now based on this if you try to make the uh, circuit the circuit will look like this one so this is how the circuit looks okay so we can also add one one very important thing is like uh, if whatever the things we have like if we have a a2 complement and a1 uh, uh, complement because at the output we are getting uh, a1 as well as a1 complement a0 as well as a0 complement so because this beauty can be utilized here okay because we have both the things a1 as well as a1 complement b1 uh, uh, a0 as well as uh, a0 complement and a2 as well as a2 complement so we do not need these two inverters yeah in general if i want to make from the original outputs from a0 a1 and a2 in that case i need all these hardware but because in the flip flop both the outputs are available both the outputs are present like complement and its true value then these two inverters are not needed so i need only three flip flops two and gates and three or gates okay so the two and gates here here and three or gates this one okay so these are the hardware that are required to design this counter okay so if anyone has any doubt at this point you can ask the question okay so this is how we can make it ah, again there is some problem i don't know what is happening wait okay so uh, if there is uh, there is no problem then we can move ahead okay the next one yeah so some of the tutorial question based on the problems which we have understand here uh, are like design a synchronous counter that goes through 3 4 yeah sorry that goes through 3 4 6 7 and then come to the 3 okay so the sequence is like 3 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 7 then 3 okay so unused state must uh, go to the 3 on next clock pulse here this is really very important uh, uh, it is not moving to zero in any of the cases okay so uh, the unused state uh, states must go to the stage number 3 so you can you can check it out uh, design a jk counter yeah jk based counter here in the first problem the the type of flip flop that i have to use is not decided okay but in the second problem the the flip flop has been decided like i have to use a uh, jk flip flop and you have to count like this one okay so third one is design a type 3 uh, counter yeah means here i have to use uh, t flip flop to design this counter and the counting sequence will be like 0 5 4 2 0 and so on okay so this is how it could be it like you have to solve it 